Hello and welcome to another episode of Steph into Christmas and today we will be creating this look using this palette here, the Magnifique by Labelle, the UK indie brand. This is a first impression for me, not just on the palette but on the brand. So very exciting, obviously this is the look we are going to be creating. So if you'd like to see how I created this look using the Magnifique palette then just keep on watching. First using a Spectrum A12 brush, I'm going to dip into Raw, this uh, deep dark green there. So, let's get into that. Oh, she's pigmented. I'm just placing it on at the moment. Um, just getting the shape. Wow. I really like that green. That looks so nice. That's a proper forest green, that. Is really nice and not getting any patchiness here at all which I appreciate just blending the edges a little bit to make that easier to blend out that's pretty I like that right then going into Zest, this uh, kind of mustardy colour here. Going to take a bit of that on. Just a Morphe brush from the M -M -M Mitchell sets. Can never get that out right. <laughs> and just along the edges. A nice pigmented colour too. So to say, I'm quite impressed with how these are performing. There is a bit of kick up in the pan, I don't know how well you can see that, but I don't mind that. It's something to bear in mind if you don't like kick up. Oh, that looks pretty. And then back in with raw. I don't know if I said what colour, what the shade name of that mustard was. It's called Zest. <laughs> Got a brain like a sieve these days. Too many pills. Prescribed pills, but yeah. <laughs> I think they're mushing my brain. Wow, let's get back in with that zest a bit. So yeah, I'm happy with that so far. I think I'm just gonna nip off now, uh, do the faux cut crease with my NYX glitter primer can't get my words out and then I will be back to finish the eye look with you so don't go anywhere okay glitter primer on so I'm just going to take um, this flat brush from Makeup by Tammy Cosmetics and I'm going to dip into Naive the green shimmer down the bottom here and this one's going to go on the outer part of my lid well, it picks up really lovely Oh, oh, that is a nice colour. It's going in a diagonal line here. Oh, look at that. 
It's a really Christmas tree green. That's what I'm going with today. Yeah, I really like that green a lot. Right, so for the inner part of the eye, I think I'm going to go in with Twinkle, which is this really nice kind of lighter gold. So let's see what she looks like. Picks up quite nicely on the brush. I am thus far extremely impressed with this palette. It's my first time trying anything from La Belle at all. And uh, I like it. I can see me using this rather a lot. There's definitely quite some options in here for colour combinations. So uh, yeah, it's going to be another interesting one to play with. Indie brands are absolutely smashing it at the moment. Absolutely smashing it. So I don't think this is a new palette per se, but it's new to me. And the brand is new to me, so. Yeah, I'm very impressed so far. I think we're gonna have to try some more Labelle. didn't quite make my uh, Christmas with indie brands just purely because I hadn't tried it already and my Christmas with indie brand series are my kind of favorite indie brands to play with so that's why they are where they are obviously this is a first impression of the brand in general so uh, yeah could it be in the Christmas with Indie Brands of 2021? We shall see. Oh, wow. Let's just dip into a tiny bit of that green just to uh, blend it in a bit there. And then back in with the gold. Oh, that looks so pretty. Wow, very, very impressed with that. So I'm just going to dip back into raw the darkest green matte or the dark green matte. The only green matte. <laughs> I'm just going to deepen up this outer edge here. I think what I want to do for the lower lash line, just to make it just a little bit more Christmassy, is go in with red. Could be a mistake. But let's see. Ooh. That brushes away so easily, any of the fallout. Uh, right, so should I go in with that? No, let's go with a tiny smudger. Right, so just going in with the Jessup 226 smudger brush, I am going to dip into Rouge, this red, for under the eyes. So let's see what happens here. This could be a big mistake, but I'm trying it anyway. So far so good. Obviously I'm gonna blend it out a bit. I'm just uh, tucking it in first, just getting the pigment on. Okay, so just using a little Morphe brush that doesn't have a name or number, I'm just going to smudge this 
out a little bit. So that is the look so far. I am really happy with how it's going. So I'm going to nip off and finish my face and then I will be back to show you the final look. So don't go anywhere. Okay, this is the final look. What do you think? I feel really Christmassy. This is really getting me in the Christmas spirit. Um, I'll just let you know what else I popped on my face. So I've got the Barry M That's How I Roll Mascara, the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Snow Queen. I have the Elf Liquid Black Liner. I have popped a line of the Lois Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow in Kingdom. That's uh, that little detail there, I just think that looks beautiful. And my lashes are from Makeup by Lisa. They're I don't know why I'm showing you the box. They're in the Star Raven and this is them. Love them. On my cheeks I have the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Mineral Blush in the shade Amaretto. And for highlight on both my cheeks and the inner corner and brow bone I use the Ofra Highlight and Rodeo Drive. And then on my lips I have the Melt Liquid Set Lipstick in the shade Toke. So yes happy <laughs> feeling very Christmassy and as for this palette it's very first impressions obviously first time I've used it the colors just blended so beautifully the shimmers quite foiled that I think they look beautiful on the eyes found it really easy to work with so I'm going to play with this some more so yeah actually really impressed with this palette so I don't know why I'm surprised. I seem to be impressed with all of the indie brand palettes at the moment. They just seem to be smashing it. So what more can I say? <laughs> so yeah, if you've liked this, then please give the video a thumbs up, like it, it really helps me out. If you're not subscribed already, then I have lots more Christmas content coming in the next couple of weeks. And usually you will see colorful looks and mainly indie brands. So if that's something that you would like to see, then hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss when I upload. And the, the Christmas ones I have coming up, I have some really exciting ones and some brilliant collabs coming up. So uh, yeah, you don't want to miss them. So thank you so much for joining me today. It's been great as always. So have a great day, great evening, wherever you are, and I hope you're taking care of yourselves. So I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.